Hello, hope you're doing good today. I'm Saurav, uh, thinker in chief of Ecomi. The last session was about um, nine reasons why you should learn digital marketing. And uh, my today's session is about skills that are very important for you to become a digital marketing genie. Well, um, many of you here who are listening to this video right now might have some of these skills or all of these skills. So I would love to hear from you the kind of skills that you have from the list of uh, these seven skills that I'm going to mention now on Facebook Digital Marketing Question and Answers Community. Um, I have jotted down these seven skills that is very important for a digital marketer. And here I start with skill number one. It's very, very important for a digital marketer to have a content and creative excellence because without content and creative excellence, you cannot drive anything great in the digital space because digital marketing end of the day is all about some brilliant content. You don't really have to be William Shakespeare, but yes, your English must be right. The content can be a text, a blog post, a status message, an image or video. So it can be any format of content. Remember, people on internet do not like too much of promotional content. So you have to create content that can add value to the ecosystem, that can solve the basic problem of your consumers, or can, have, can, add, uh, can add some laughter uh, to the audience of yours. Point number two, you need to understand how WordPress works. Not that you have to be developer, but yes, you must understand the analogy of, analogy of this platform. WordPress is very uh, easy uh, platform for someone to learn and explore. So in this course, we will be focusing on how to create some, uh, how to host a blog or website on uh, using WordPress and uh, create some amazing content on this platform because this is very search engine friendly platform. So for a digital marketer, it's very important to have WordPress knowledge because it definitely adds a lot of SEO value or a little bit of development value uh, to their core skills. Point number three, a digital marketer should not really be a graphic designer, but yes, he should understand how visual works. He should understand the taste of colors. He should understand the choice of fonts. He should understand the kind of pictures that needs to be used. He needs to have basics of photo editing skills. That doesn't mean that he should learn Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator or CorelDRAW for that matter. He can just join platform like canva.com, which can help him help him or her create some beautiful images uh, by just using some uh, uh, available templates uh, on the cloud. I have been using canva.com a lot because it helps me to create some quick images when my design team is not available around me. So in case there is a client crisis and we have to communicate um, or in case of a national disaster, I need to create some beautiful post. I always use canva.com for that reason. So to you must have some skills from a photo editing perspective. Well, it's necessary that you are analytically strong if you are under digital marketing um, to not run away with a few number games. Many of you might not be good at mathematics, but yes, you should learn digital analytics. Uh, because it's a very crucial part for digital marketing uh, as it can help you understand the metrics of the efforts that you have put. So you don't have to be really certified in digital analytics, but yes, you should understand how A bar B split test works, what are the numbers that can help you conclude that your campaigns have been successful. You can understand what has been the cost per click, cost per conversion, cost per lead, cost per thousand impressions, uh, what has been the reach, what is that people do on your website. So Digital data analytics or data analysis can help you understand consumer behavior. A uh, very popular dental chain who is a client, uh, they realized from the last year data that almost 90% of their website visitors were iPhone users. So they realized it's the rich segment in this country who basically access their website more than uh, the other segments. So they wanted to break this myth that they are an expensive brand and hence they started also showcasing pricing on the website so that it would immensely help them to let people know that they are not very expensive a brand. Point number five, it's important that you have to be passionate about digital marketing. Yes, uh, if you're not passionate about this subject, um, trust me, it's not a very easy subject or else. Uh, you really have to be passionate about learning something new every other day and trying something 
new. Innovation in digital marketing works well. So you can innovate your ideas, you can innovate some interesting campaigns and create some magical movement integrating offline and online campaigns in order to showcase that you have some great digital marketing skills with you. So remember, learning advertisements is just not a thing. Knowing content is just not a thing. Or learning about the processes or dashboards is just not a thing. You have to be passionate about what practice will work for your client. So if you want to become a digital marketer, remember, you have to become a digital doctor. So you are graduating to become a digital doctor. So that the prescription that you will make to people should come out of passion, experience, and your understanding of this medium. Point number six, learn by doing. It's easy to learn about various techniques. Uh, it's actually interesting to listen to what people are saying, but you have to learn all of these practices by doing. As a digital marketer, even today, I do a lot of advertisements on my own. I write a lot of content on my own. I do a lot of link, healthy link building practices on my own. I love to uh, I love to amplify content, uh, but um, it's because it's not that I do not have resources. It's because only when you try doing something, you are more likely to become a pro at it. Point number seven: You need to have urge to learn and stay updated. If you are trying to practice what you learned four years back, trust me, it's not going to be applicable anymore. So if you're trying to go run chase behind those digital marketing certification courses because you believe that these certification can add real value to your resume, trust me, I do get a lot of resumes with these digital marketing certificates. But end of the day, if I ask a few questions to them and if they cannot answer, there's no point you take certifications. So it's very important to stay updated. And to stay updated, you need to follow resources on a day-to-day -day basis in this field. It's not a book, bookish knowledge. Digital marketing is unlike uh, Philip Kotler's book where you have to learn it once every year to stay updated with what are the latest trends because here there's always innovation every other day. So digital marketing is evolving and it changes overnight. You, know to, you need to learn every day, evolve every day. These are some of the resources that you should subscribe to, which I often read. Um, so do, I... You can always pause the screen and uh, subscribe to these channels. These channels will help you learning digital marketing. You can subscribe to my blog as well so that the blog post can directly come to your inbox. Trust me, um, these blogs that I'm planning to write in the future is with an objective uh, to make you understand how digital marketing works. So some of the best practices and case studies you can find on my blog very soon. With this, I'll end up my session. Uh, if, if you have any questions, you can uh, log on to our Facebook uh, community, which is called Digital Marketing Question and Answers, or you can log on to SaurabhJain.com, or you can visit our company's official page called Facebook.com slash Ecomi and share your experience with us. My next session is going to be about digital marketing ecosystem. It's one of my favorite subjects where I'm going to teach you what digital marketing is all about. What are the kind of subjects that you should learn? What is the difference between SEO, SEM, email marketing and a lot more. So that 10 to 15 minutes video will help you get all the insights about digital marketing with me. And after that, we'll start our practical sessions. Thank you so much. Have a good day.